Statistics is not the course that you would think would necessitate a book review. But surprisingly, in my MBA program, I really liked my statistics course. The book was more of a reference, which you'll see in the review here. This one is called Business Statistics in Practice by Bruce Bowerman. I gave it three out of five stars on Goodreads, and I wrote this about it late in 2011. This was the companion reference for a statistics course in my MBA program. While the professor tested exclusively on his lectures, the book provided a unique resource that could assist with general class comprehension and served as a bilingual, math and English, translator. It could provide a different perspective on concepts to assist with learning. The professor insisted the book was unimportant for the class, but I regularly went back to it to fully understand and restate my statistics confusions. Also, it's pretty dense material. Without a basis for understanding advanced math, much of this textbook would seem like gibberish. It's when it's used as a targeted reference that this text excels. And that is totally accurate. And because of that, it was really used in exactly the way that the professor suggested it, that it was more to be a companion piece towards the class. It was very important for me because I didn't have that basis for advanced math going into the class. I did have a healthy distrust of statistics, though, especially coming from journalism in my undergraduate program in my, my early career to transitioning to business and an MBA. It made me think of that quote that's always attributed to uh, Mark Twain, where he says, there's three kinds of lies, lies, damned lies, and statistics. Um, I think about it, that really whenever I see a number in the news or on, uh, on the web or anywhere that they're trying to make a point, I always think about the context of where they get statistics. I think about like 538.com and how they come to what they're looking at. Always looking for the margin of error is important and, uh, and how they gathered the statistics or gathered the numbers, gathered the data that leads up to the statistics because you can always find out more about what's trying to be told when you think about statistics. Now then coming to it in terms of business, I thought this would be a little bit different and it was in that there was a lot more complexity and you're using a lot of deep data to create models to explain trends and where business analysis will lead you to places in the future. However, context is still really important. And as people build those models, even in business, questioning how the models are built, and again, the story that's looking to be told by the person who is delivering these statistics is extremely important. The math was very advanced, again, more advanced for me, and the complexity was there, but there's always context that needs to be delivered in terms of statistics. This class was fantastic. Uh, the professor helped us to understand uh, statistics through so many things that we were paying attention to in real life. Uh, when I say in real life, it, outside of school with like football and fantasy football and all the different things that would be happening in the fall of 2011. Um, so we made it really fun. But uh, I guess the, the message for me is still there in that um, the more deep the numbers or the more numbers that are being told in terms of analysis or in terms of trying to make a point, the more important it is for you as the receiver of those points, of those statistics, to track down the context of how they're built. So this one, again, Business Statistics in Practice by Bruce Bowerman. I gave it three out of five stars on Goodreads in 2011. Till next.